Okay, so in our video series of dermatology crash course, in this video, we'll be talking about necrotizing fasciitis. We have a case here, a 50-year-old man with uncontrolled diabetes presents to your clinic with the chief complaint of blue-gray discoloration of leg after a minor trauma. This is a picture showing blue-gray discoloration. Patient says that it's extremely painful. Patient is also having fever and this thing is rapidly spreading. Initially, it was a blue-gray discoloration. Then it looked somewhat like this. And now when the patient is admitted, the leg looks like this. This is a case of necrotizing fasciitis. How does it present? How do you diagnose it? And how do you treat it? Today, we are going to talk about that. Necrotizing fasciitis is a deadly condition. It is also called as flesh-eating disease caused by flesh-eating bacteria and it is life-threatening. Once it starts, it's progressive and it rapidly spreads in the deep fascia. It destroys the tissues of the body. Organisms that cause necrotizing fasciitis are streptococcus species, clostridium species, and it is mainly found to be polymicrobial condition. And the most important risk factor is diabetes mellitus. Diabetic patients have slow healing process. They are immunosuppressed. These patients are most prone to necrotizing fasciitis and its complications. It usually starts as a red, warm, swollen area, but the pain is out of proportion to the level of injury. Like the injury is small, the injury is located on a specific area, but the pain is very severe and pain is affecting the whole limb. So the pain is out of proportion to the site of damage. Then it forms woolly, purple, blue skin discoloration. At the end, it forms gas gangrene in which there is gangrene and gas in it that results in the formation of crepitus. When you press it, you will hear the sound of bubbling of gas with extensive necrosis. And that extensive necrosis causes multi-organ failure and shock-like condition because it is home to various bacteria and toxins. It causes fever, hypotension and multi-organ failure leading to death. Usually normal skin looks like this with epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous tissue, deep fascia and it destroys the whole of skin. It usually starts from the deep fascia and spreads upwards to the skin, downwards to the muscle and destroys the whole tissue resulting in gangrene. This is how necrotizing fasciitis looks like. Diagnosis of necrotizing fasciitis is usually made by plain radiography. What you do is you take x-rays of the soft tissues, you do CT and MRI to see the extent of disease. Since there is destruction of the tissue, destruction of the muscles, you will find CPK, creatinine phosphokinase to be elevated. For definitive diagnosis, you must remember that in exam, if they ask you about the definitive diagnosis, incisional exploration is the best initial step and incisional exploration is the best way for the diagnosis. Surgery is the best initial step for necrotizing fasciitis. You should order no tests, directly go for surgery in the exams if they ask you about the best initial step. This is a CT of necrotizing fasciitis and this under the skin is the gas. This black is gas present in the tissues that is due to necrosis of the tissues. This is an x-ray showing necrotizing fasciitis. This is a plain x-ray of foot. And if you see normal tissues look somewhat like this, this black area under the skin, this shows gas below the skin. And this gas is in the deep tissues due to necrosis, due to necrotizing fasciitis. This is the gas present under the skin. In the treatment, since the patient is having severe infections, patient is having fever, hypotension, sepsis, you have to do aggressive resuscitation and have to go for sepsis management. You have to give empiric antibiotic therapy. In empiric antibiotic therapy, certain combinations can be used. Ampicillin with celbectum, ticarcillin with flavolanic acid, piparcillin with tezobectum. If you have a definitive diagnosis that this this gangrene is caused by group A strep, then you can use clindamycin for that. Surgery is the mainstay of treatment. Medications cannot control it. Antibiotics cannot treat it. The best initial step is surgery. Best initial step for diagnosis, for treatment is surgery. Prognosis 
without treatment there is 80% mortality rate patients die of sepsis shock and hypotension in summary we talked about necrotizing fasciitis it is a life threatening progressive disease that destroys the tissues caused by strep and clostridium diabetes being the most important risk factor starts as a red warm swollen area forms blisters and then it forms crepitus and extensive necrosis with multi organ failure diagnosis is made by exploration of the tissue surgically and you can also go for ct mri and plain x rays to see the gas under the skin and the extent of disease aggressive resuscitation and sepsis management in empiric antibiotics you can do, use the following surgery is the mainstay surgery is the best initial step for diagnosis as well as the treatment so this was all about necrotizing fasciitis if you liked my video please hit on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on dermatology crash course thank you very much